The moment a humanoid robot stands in a kitchen and prepares a complete meal with its own hands is not just a technological showcase. It is a moment that forces all of humanity to pause and ask a deeper question. Have we just crossed into an entirely new era and Tesla Gen 3 is moving straight toward that milestone? Not in a laboratory, not on a sealed industrial production line, but inside a kitchen, a space designed almost entirely for humans. Elon Musk believes Optimus Gen 3 will ignite the humanoid robot revolution, not because it is stronger or faster than other robots, but because it solves the core problems that the entire humanoid robotics industry is still stuck on. Cooking is the most unforgiving test, and the one that cannot be faked. First, it's important to clarify one key point. The yellow and black Tesla bot images with the updated arms that we've seen recently are not Optimus Gen 3. Elon Musk himself has clearly confirmed that Tesla has not yet revealed Optimus V3, and those images show only version 2 and version 2.5, that version's being teleoperated for testing purposes. This distinction matters a lot because Optimus Gen 3, according to the current plan, is set to launch in February, and this is no longer an experimental prototype. It will be the first fully finished version polished and refined to operate in the real world. If Optimus Gen 2 relied on teleoperation and even suffered falls during testing, Tesla Bot Gen 3 is designed to be fully autonomous. Elon Musk states that Optimus Gen 3 can complete up to 100 open-ended tasks per day thanks to its ability to learn and imitate human behavior. He even believes the robot could cook daily and prepare breakfast, functioning like a true household assistant. This isn't emotional marketing. It's a strategic statement that reflects Tesla's long-term ambitions. So, how will Tesla bot Gen 3 overcome the cooking challenge? And why was Elon Musk genuinely amazed by his own robot? From the very first prototype known as Bumblebee to Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 2.5, Tesla bot has evolved in a clearly visible way. Each version represents a leap forward, not only in software, but especially in physical design. Many people tend to underestimate the importance of humanoid robot design. But in reality, roughly 65% of a humanoid robot's performance comes from its design. If a robot is too heavy, it consumes enormous amounts of energy just to move. If it's too light, it loses stability and risks falling at any moment. And beyond that, Tesla has had to solve an even harder problem. How to make a robot that doesn't look intimidating like a Terminator is friendly enough to enter human homes and can still be mass-produced at a reasonable cost. That's why Optimus 5 2.5 was refined with softer lines, neatly enclosed joints, fewer exposed cables, and an overall appearance that feels far more like a finished commercial product than an experimental prototype. We believe the clearest picture of Optimus' true potential begins in the most familiar place of all, the kitchen. Cooking isn't just a series of repetitive mechanical actions. It's a comprehensive, real-world, and highly delicate challenge for any humanoid robot. Even a seemingly simple breakfast like bacon and eggs requires Optimus to open the refrigerator properly, recognize and sort ingredients, lift eggs without cracking them, turn on the stove, control a pan, crack the eggs, add oil, stir evenly, and time every single step with precision. Okay, you may not realize this, but every small action performed by the Tesla bot requires a perfect fusion of dexterous hands, sharp perception, and seamless real-time coordination. When a robot can cook, it's not just a technical achievement. It's a milestone that signals. It has crossed the line from an industrial machine to an entity capable of living and operating naturally in the human world. And this is where the difference from today's robots becomes clearer than ever. The robotic arms inside Tesla factories can weld car frames or assemble components with near-perfect speed and precision. But all of that happens in standardized, repetitive, and fully predictable environments. 
put those same systems into a kitchen, and they would be almost completely useless. Optimus Gen 3 can now use a frying pan, crack eggs, cook them properly, and remove them at exactly the right moment. A level of skill that feels almost unreal. To reach this capability, Elon Musk says the engineering team trained Optimus relentlessly for as long as possible. Their goal was to push the robot to a point of true mastery where every movement is precise and errors are nearly eliminated. That effort expanded Tesla bought Gen 3's skill set from a few hundred actions to around 3,000 tasks, nearly double that of version 2.5, which was still controversial due to its strange falls during teleoperated testing. This surge in capability is driven in part by Optimus' unique brain, which Elon Musk describes as a real brain, not just a conventional control system. With Gen 3, Optimus can watch cooking videos, observe how ingredients are prepped, or how a kitchen is cleaned, then run billions of simulations in a virtual environment. Through this process, it fine-tunes every movement and posture before reproducing the task naturally and smoothly in the real world. When a robot can be programmed to prepare an entire dinner, the idea of coming home after a long, exhausting day to be thoughtfully taken care of no longer feels far-fetched. Optimus doesn't just reduce the burden of household chores. It opens the door to a future where humans can focus more on what they truly want to do. As Elon Musk puts it, work becomes optional. You can do it if you want or a robot will do it for you. In that world, money matters far less. AI and robotics continue to advance, which they are advancing very rapidly. Like I said, working will be optional. Um, and people will have any goods and services that they want. This is also where most other robotics companies fail. They can build machines that walk, run, jump, even box, or play table tennis. Yet, those same robots can't peel an orange, wash vegetables under running water, or cook a simple meal. Cooking is the harshest integrated test for a humanoid robot. Even something as basic as eggs and a sandwich requires the robot to identify ingredients, hold eggs without breaking them, turn on the stove, control a pan, manage timing, and clean up afterward. This isn't a sequence of repetitive mechanical motions. It's the fusion of intelligence, hands, and real-time coordination. If Optimus can do this, it officially steps out of the role of an industrial robot and into the human world. Elon Musk estimates that once Optimus reaches production at a scale of around 1 million units per year, its price could stabilize. 